Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of British Tech TV. In today's program I'm going to teach you how you can take passport photos at home. Stay tuned to find out more. Before we go any further I should mention that you know there is a little bit of an investment that um, you have to make if you would like to do this professionally and uh, get lab quality results. So the first thing that you're going to need uh, if you want to do this, um, as I say, with reasonable quality, is uh, a printer which is uh, called um, Canon Selfie CP1300. Okay, so these printers, they don't use any ink, but they use these cartridges uh, which contains all the colour that you're going to need. I would like to mention that um, you can get a pack of these with uh, 108 pieces of paper and three cartridges, which is all the ink that you're going to need for the uh, for the paper, for for twenty six pounds on Amazon at the moment, and that works out to be t uh, roughly about twenty four pence uh, per sheet of paper. So you know it's uh, it's really cheap. I mean, you can actually get uh, these, which are not made by Canon, but uh, by made by an alternative manufacturer. Uh, I think I've seen them going on eBay for about eighteen pounds. So that works out at 16 pence per page. So, you know, it is, you know, it's, it's nowhere near what it used to be back in the days. It's, it's really cheap and economical. And, uh, you know, if you can make that initial investment, then, you know, let, let, let's look at it. For example, uh, if you've got mates who can come round to your house, they've taken their own pictures and you charge them uh, five pounds for eight, eight passport photos. Uh, you know, you can see how quickly uh, this, these can pay for themselves and you can make your money back. So, um, I just thought I'd mention that. So, the way it works is you get the printer, okay, and you open the side port here. And the cartridges, these cartridges, they basically fit into the side over there. And then what you do is you get the, um, the paper loader. And there's a, a, a slot at the front and once you've loaded the paper into the loader so you open this up and your papers will basically um, go inside here okay and you close that you leave this open and you clip it into the front like so and that's ready okay then all you got to do is um, switch it on and uh, start printing your photographs. You can connect to this from um, your phone. So you could connect directly to it from your phone and you could print photos that are on your phone. You can connect it to your home network and you could print from your laptop or your computer and so forth. So um, there are a few uh, different uh, ways that you can connect to this and that you can use this. One of the issues uh, when you take a picture at a photo booth is that when the flash fires, most of the time you're not ready and, you know, the, the picture comes out looking uh, a bit of a mess and, you know, you're not really happy with it. But if you do it this way, you can take a picture with your camera and, you know, you can retake it as many times as you like. And um, when you're happy with it, you can then bring it to print. So anyway, this printer here, um, you can pick it up now on Amazon for... Uh, 113 pounds I believe yep so you know it's, it's not only good for passport photos obviously you could print you know photographs from your computer and from your phone uh, friends can connect to it you can take it on holiday you can get a little battery for this as well so there's lots of other uses that you know you can do with it but today we're gonna primarily focus on uh, passport photographs unfortunately I don't have a model here today who I can use uh, you know to demonstrate this but what I do have is a picture of my cat and um, I've taken the picture on my uh, mobile phone and I've transferred it over to uh, a USB stick and uh, I'm going to connect it to the printer to demonstrate to you you know how you easily you can print these passport photos uh, and, and then we'll move on to the uh, to the next step right so I've got my USB stick and I'm going to stick it into the USB port on the side. So that's now in there. Now what it will do 
is it will search the USB stick and display a list of pictures. Uh, uh, in my case, I've only got one picture on this stick, uh, and that's a picture of my cat. So it's displaying a picture of my cat. So what I'd like to do now is I would like to go back and select the uh, the ID photo function, which I'm going to do from here. So if I just click on the um, the back key here, I'll click on that here, and I'm going to go down to the ID photo ID function here, if you can see that. And I'm going to press OK. Now it says, would you like to print your photo ID in a standard size? Now the UK size uh, for passport photos is 45 by 35 millimeters. Uh, you can actually go in and change that. So I know that the US size is a slightly different. So you could go in and, and change that. And you can even put a custom size if you want. And it'll print one, two, three, four, five, six passport photos. So let's now go in and press OK. Right. Now, what you want to do is, for example, you don't want to print, when you get a picture of yourself, you may want to crop it out, enlarge it, or decrease the size. So what you can do here is you can click on, um, there's a button here which says uh, menu. Okay, if you click on menu, It'll give you some options for cropping. So if you press OK, it'll just load up. Then what you can do is you can move this box around until you have your face centered within the, um, the top uh, blue and the bottom green uh, lines. OK, so you can move that around a bit. And what you can also do is you can enlarge the size of the box. So if I was to hold this here and if I come around here, I can show you that I can enlarge the size of the box to fit more of a, a you know the face in so that can be um, enlarged and then again you can move it down a bit more until you've got it you know exactly the way uh, that you want basically so I'll just move that a bit more to the right and there you go I'm quite happy with that so what I shall now do is I shall press uh, OK and uh, it should now say that um, we can give you a preview so I'll press OK and if I now press the print button it should start to print so I'll just put it down I'll, well, I'll press the print button first print and I'll put it down here and you can see how it's going to print that out So let's take this out and let's have a look at it and you can judge for yourself, you know, the quality uh, that you're going to get out of this little printer. Um, I mean, as I say, I've compared, I have taken some passport photos of my own children and I've compared them to um, lab quality prints which we've had in the past. And I can honestly say that the quality that I've had out from this printer has been better than the, um, the, the, the prints that we've had from uh, from the uh, passport photo places. So I'll zoom that in a bit more and you can judge the quality for yourselves. Now obviously this has got a picture of my cat on it but you can imagine easily yourself, you know, a picture of yourself there and how this would work. Right, so you've got your prints now and you want to uh, cut them out but you don't want to do it with scissors um, because, you know, you'll, you'll probably cut some of the sides bent and uh, they won't look very professional. Um, so there is a, a final component that you need and uh, I'm going to show you that now. What I have in front of me here is a little device uh, which is uh, which could be called a passport photo cutter and this just basically puts the finishing touches uh, onto your passport photos and certainly if you want to do it as a business um, you know as a little side business taking passport photos at home this will uh, significantly uh, improve the time that it takes uh, to cut those passport photos and also uh, give you uh, professional results, which people will want if they're going to pay for a service. So how does it work? It's really simple. It's got like a, a die in here. Um, if you have a look in here, um, what happens, what you do is you slide your passport photo uh, in here. So you take your passport photos. Let's do this here so you can see it. 
So what, what you would do is take your passport photograph and slide it inside here. There's little markings on these passport photos. If you have a look, can you see those little markings? Let's have a look. Yep. So you just mark those four marks on the corners of that on those photos, uh, with the uh, you know the four corners inside here. So I've lined up my passport photo, and I'm going to uh, press the lever. And there we go. There's our first passport photograph, all straight and lined up from all four corners and you just repeat you know with the rest of them do exactly the same uh, well there you have it your own perfectly cut passport photos made at home if you benefited from this video please do kindly share it with your family and friends thank you for watching and i hope to join you in the next video Bye for now.